Hey guys, Michael Sanchez, Violin Teacher here. I'm going to teach you guys how to hold the violin today using a shoulder rest. And I've been blown away lately just by some of the advice on YouTube about just that a shoulder rest doesn't really matter and kind of how you hold the instrument even doesn't really matter. And it's so important. So very, very good tips I'm going to be giving you today. So this right here, this is called a Kuhn shoulder rest. I highly recommend this. You can find this in the description section, a uh, link on Amazon. So this is going to help us to hold the instrument better so that basically we're not going to be able to, you know, have the instrument easily taken away from us, which is a really bad habit to hold the violin too much here instead of holding it here. So this tool is going to really help with that. So I'm going to show you how to put it on. So basically I'm going to take the back of the instrument here and notice this thicker side of the shoulder rest. That's going to go on the right side right here. This is the right side. And then I kind of have this free right here to slide up on the other side, the thinner side. So the thinner side is going on the left. You see that? So thin side left, thicker side right. Okay, so now I have a really nice shoulder rest on. You can use other types of shoulder rests. The, the key is that you have something to help you hold the violin. So now what we're going to do is put the instrument on top of our shoulder right here. And notice with the shoulder rest that the coon is on top of the shoulder. It's not here. That's a really bad habit. So make sure it's here. And then square your shoulders to your music stand and point the scroll here at the left side of your music stand. So don't have it way off in left field like this. Have it about 45 degrees in front of you. So notice where the thicker pad is down here. Notice where the thinner pad is up here. Sorry, the other way around. Thicker pad is on here. Thinner pad's down here. And then we should be able to hold the violin with no hands, just like that. So it should be very hard for the violin to be taken away from you. And what I recommend for you to do is just walk across the room and back and just practice this concept of holding the violin without any reliance. Have your hands maybe down here just to make sure you don't drop it. But this is very good practice to make sure that we're holding the violin properly, which is huge, and being able to play the violin well. Thanks so much for watching. Please watch the next video if you're interested in learning more.